Hello all, welcome to SolidWorks Tutorials. In this video, I'll talk about plane selection and starting the first sketch. Plane selection is really an important thing in designing. Before starting the design, you need to understand on which plane the part sits on. Let's have a look at all the planes we have in SolidWorks. I'm gonna open a new part file or create a new part file. To do that, I'm pressing Ctrl plus N or you can simply go to this file option here when you click on it you can see new or else you can simply press ctrl n and after pressing ctrl n you can see this dialog box in this dialog box you can see part assemble assembly and draw now as we are drawing individual part we are going to choose part for now if you are thinking to make an assembly from different parts you can choose assembly and if you are planning to draw something you can on a sheet you can use draw template for now I'm gonna choose part template okay here you can see design canvas this is where we are going to start the design and on the left side you can see front top and right these are the three fundamental planes which we have and other than this we have the exact opposite planes which are back bottom and left so we have six planes in total and in them three are fundamental which are front top and right so as I said it is really important to understand the planes sometimes if we if you are going to design something like a box most of the times box sits on a top plane which means a ground on ground or on a base so whenever you're designing something like a box most probably you will choose top plane and if you are thinking to design something like a photo frame or something which sits on a vertical surface or vertical plane you, you're going to choose front and right planes so here you can see different tabs features sketch markup evaluate sometimes you might not see some of these tabs here so you can simply enable those things we'll talk about that in later section so here you can see features sec sketch i'm gonna choose sketch here and when you click on sketch tab you can see sketch option here to start your first sketch you can select this sketch option here or else you can right click on any of these planes and select sketch so when i place the cursor on any of these planes and right click over there you can see the sketch option here also you can see some option called normal to when we select normal to option the plane becomes normal to the screen now this says the front plane is normal to the screen and when i do the same thing for top you can see that top plane is normal to the screen now the same goes with right plane when I select normal to the right plane becomes normal to the screen. As I said, you can select this sketch option here or else you can simply right click and select the sketch. But when you are doing it this way, if you are placing the cursor on front plane and selecting sketch, it automatically chooses front plane. It doesn't allow you to choose a plane. So it's better to select this one or if you are comfortable with this you can go with this too right now i have selected front plane now the front plane is normal to the screen now i can start sketching so i'm gonna draw a rectangle here so this is the origin i'm gonna draw a rectangle of some random dimensions okay here we have a rectangle on front plane i'm gonna exit this sketch now i want to draw some other sketch on a different plane to do that i'm going to right click on top plane here and then i'll select sketch now this is still normal to front plane so to make top plane normal to the screen i'm going to choose normal to here and then i'll draw a hexagon here okay I'm gonna exit sketch now this hexagon it is on top plane and 
when I select normal two, you can see the hexagon clearly. Now I'm gonna draw another shape on right plane. So first I'll select normal to the right plane and then I'll select sketch. Here I'll draw something like a circle. So here we have the origin point and I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm gonna exit sketch. Now when I go to trimetric view or any isometric view, I can see all the three planes. So now I can see all the sketches which are on front, top and right respectively. Uh, so the rectangle, it is on top plane. Sorry, the rectangle, it is on front plane. So when I select normal to here, you can see the rectangle. And if I select normal to top plane, you can see a hexagon. If I select normal to right plane, you can see a circle. And in trimetric view or isometric view, you can select isometric, di diametric and trimetric view. So in trimetric view, you can see all the three sketches. You can see a rectangle, you can see a circle and a hexagon. So this way, based on the requirement, you can choose the plane for sketching.